The first umbilical now being retracted, 25 seconds until launch. The launch command has been issued, standing second umbilical retracted. We have main engine ignition. Three, two, one, turbo pumps up to flight speed. Maximum thrust and liftoff. Liftoff of the 60th Progress Resupply Vehicle en route to the International Space Station. All structural parameters reported to be normal. Good roll, pitch and yaw program initiated. Progress 60, heading to the northeast. Structural stability is reported to be normal from the blockhouse at Baikonur coming up on the one minute mark into the flight. Combustion and chamber pressures are normal. Everything looking good so far. Good roll pitch and yaw program. One minute, 20 seconds into the flight, everything is normal. The Soyuz passing through the area of maximum dynamic pressure. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, all structural parameters are normal. Standing by for first stage separation. First stage separation has been confirmed. The Progress 60 atop the uh, Soyuz booster, 30 miles in altitude, 73 miles downrange from the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Two and a half minutes into the flight, structural stability is reported to be normal. Second stage uh, engines are up and running in good shape. According to the blockhouse at Baikonur, everything looking good so far, approaching the three minute mark into the flight. The launch shroud has been jettisoned, exposing uh, the progress resupply vehicle. All of the uh, booster parameters are normal. Stability is steady. Reports coming uh, from the uh, blockhouse at Baikonur. Everything is looking good. There's that view from the balcony camera at the uh, Russian Mission Control Center in Koryaf. They will take over control of the flight of the Progress at third stage separation after the Progress is delivered into its preliminary orbit. Four minutes into the flight, uh, vehicle stability is reported to be normal. Second stage thrusters continue to fire normally. We're about uh, 40 seconds away from second stage shutdown and separation. Roll, pitch and yaw, all the parameters are normal.
Nearing the end, the end of the uh, second stage performance, everything is reported to be normal. Second stage separation is confirmed right on time. The lower skirt has been jettisoned from the third stage. Third stage engine up and running. Five minutes, 15 seconds into the flight. The uh, Soyuz booster, 104 miles in altitude, 179 miles downrange from the uh, Baikonur Cosmodrome. Third stage engine performance reported to be normal. Control systems are all normal. Third stage performance is nominal. Everything looking good so far. Coming up on the six minute mark into the flight. Mark six minutes into the flight. The Progress 60 continues to track right down the money, right down the center line. Yaw, roll, and pitch parameters are normal. About two and a half minutes of powered flight remaining. Third stage engine continues uh, to run normally. Structural parameters are normal. Seven minutes into the flight, everything continues to go very well. The launch was right on time at 11.55 and 48 seconds p.m. Central Time. 10.55 and 48 seconds a.m. Baikonur time on July 3rd. Third stage engine uh, continues to operate normally. Structural parameters are excellent according uh, to the reports from the black blockhouse at Baikonur. Seven minutes, 45 seconds into the flight. About one more minute of powered flight for the Soyuz booster's upper stage. Everything continues uh, to perform normally in the final minute of powered flight. All control system parameters are normal for the third stage of the Soyuz booster. About 30 seconds of powered flight remaining. Third stage engine performance continues uh, to function as advertised as we stand by for third stage shutdown and spacecraft separation. We have third stage shutdown and separation, spacecraft separation confirmed. Navigational antennas have been deployed, standing by for solar array deploy. And we have confirmation of the deployment of the Progress 60's solar arrays and navigational antennas.
The Progress 60 now in great shape in its preliminary orbit, beginning its two-day trip to the International Space Station. Everything went by the book. All telemetry uh, from the Progress 60 is being received uh, at the Russian Mission Control Center in Karayov, and everything looks great. The propulsion system parameters are normal on the Progress 60. Progress 60 receiving a perfect ride to its preliminary orbit. A pre-programmed series of engine firings now will uh, elevate its orbit and begin the chase to the International Space Station with docking scheduled early Sunday morning at 2.13 a.m. Central Time. And the television camera boom has been deployed on the progress and the TV camera has been activated according to the flight control team in Korolev, which has now taken over control of the rest of the flight of the Progress 60. At the uh, Russian Mission Control Center in Korolev, uh, the shift flight director is reporting uh, that everything is looking great on the Progress 60 cargo craft. And you can see uh, this view from uh, the television camera that was just uh, deployed on the Progress. Everything very stable. Everything is nominal. A flawless ride to orbit atop uh, the Soyuz booster. All three stages uh, performed as advertised. An uneventful ride uh, to deliver the progress to its preliminary orbit and the start of a two-day journey to the International Space Station. After the progress docks to the pier's docking compartment on the earth-facing port of the Russian segment of the station of the wee hours Sunday, there will be a, a series of leak checks that will be conducted by Station Commander Gennady Padalka and Flight Engineer Mikhail Kornienko. The uh, hatch uh, to the Progress resupply vehicle uh, will be opened Sunday morning. The crew not scheduled to begin unloading its cargo until early Monday morning.